My name is Silky Niederhaus. I'm Associate Professor of Surgery at the University of Maryland School of Medicine and also Associate Dean for Faculty Affairs and Professional Development. My story to transplant is interesting in that I was a transplant recipient a long time before I became a doctor. I had kidney disease when I was eight years old, had my first transplant when I turned 11, and then decided to pursue a career in transplantation. So I stubbornly went for it did my medical school in Birmingham, Alabama, my residency and fellowship training in Madison, Wisconsin, and joined the University of Maryland School of Medicine in 2012 as assistant professor. So I've been here for almost 10 years now. I still really enjoy doing kidney transplants, pancreas transplants, dialysis access, PD catheters, fistulas, grafts, all those types of things. I love working with patients. I think I can bring a unique perspective, having been a recipient for longer than I've been a doctor for. And I recently underwent a second transplant in 2019 when the first kidney failed after 30 years time. So the ultimate goal of transplantation is to make life better. Um, life on dialysis is hard. Most people are anemic. They struggle with energy levels, being tired, fatigued all the time. Um, and then dialysis itself takes up a lot of time during the week, right? Whether you do it as home hemo or hemo in the center or peritoneal dialysis, it's all time and effort. Uh, once you have a kidney transplant and the kidney works, uh, it's a lot less effort because all you have to do is take pills usually twice a day in the long run. And after taking pills twice a day, you get your labs once a month or even every two months if everything is going very well. And that's a lot less effort. On top of it, you get your energy back. Somehow having really well cleaned blood just helps you have better energy and a much better quality of life. So there are many things you can do when you have a kidney transplant that are difficult to do on dialysis.